Hey guys, Fire here with another bronze breakdown and I think for the first time ever Malphite wasn't actually banned in bronze elo. So the last time you asked for a fight in the jungle, so this time we're going to be looking at the two most important things when fighting in the jungle and that's going to be vision and positioning. So at the start of this fight we're going to see Riven is jumped on 1v3 after killing Draven and she does either bind right to the face. You can see Corky's going to man up and decide he ain't no pussy, he's going to stand there right in front of everyone in their faces attacking and not decide to do it from range. He's actually going to either binding and Lux going to aim the laser and it's going to pick up Riven in the back of the screen as well so that's accidental Lux kill number one. We can now see Malphite's jumping in with his ultimate. Lux is actually going to aim a binding at Malphite, but it's going to hit Thresh in the background as so that's accidental Lux kill number two. Now Malphite and Udo are going to duel it out as tanks do, not really doing any damage, but Malphite's just stalling for A to come in, in the top left, and he's going to flash in, but she doesn't have a stun, so she's not going to pick up the Udo as well, and he's going to ghost away. Annie and Nasa is actually going to duel this out, and I'm going to speed it out because it finally ends with the Great Draven ultimate picking up the Annie and the double buffs. So as always, let's just take stock of the game before the fight really kicks off. Now right now it's a 1v3 because Riven has already killed Draven but she's against two tanks and a kind of pokey damage source which means that she isn't going to die that quickly. Now obviously we know where the blue team are because we're in spectator so Corky and Thresh are on their way and actually Annie and Malphite are busy taking the blue buff on the other side of the map. Now red team have no wards on Annie, they have no wards in the river which means they have no idea where the rest of the blue team are and in theory they could just be sitting in the bush waiting for them. So the best play here would just be to back off and take the dragon even though the red team do win the fight the point I really want to make here is that if you're gonna fight near the jungle you need to have vision so you don't get ambushed so there are really too many fights in this team fight with this being the first one now Corky right now kind of forgets he's a ranged AD and is just standing right next to them attacking so this obviously puts him in a lot more danger than he needs to be and actually in the end gets him killed so ideally he would have been standing about here attacking them and then when they came towards him he could have used the terrain to his advantage. So if he had just gone over this wall then he would have been completely safe from the three enemies and be able to kill both Udi and Blitzcrank before they even reach him. So it sounds obvious but being in a situation where you can attack enemies and they can't attack you is perfect as an AD. So this is really also where attack moving comes in handy. Now for those of you who don't know what it is it's just like issuing a move command but instead you move an attack to the closest target to you. So if Corky had been using attack move he would have stayed at his maximum attack range rather than walking straight into them. Now the final thing you'll see happen here as I roll the clip is Riffin decides to recall literally just off screen and dies to the Luxol. Now considering blue team has no vision on Nasus but they know they're on his way it would have been a much better idea to run completely away before even attempting to recall. Now this is kind of the second mini fight where Malphite decides to re-engage. Now if we look just above them on the mini map we can see that Nasus is zoning Annie out of this fight and it means that Malphite has no backup here. Now he hasn't built any damage so he's diving in against a tank and two damage dealers in Lux and Nasus when he arrives. Now obviously this isn't a great idea and right here his best bet would have probably been just a slow deer, maybe ult both of them but try and just save Thresh. Like really in this situation this is the point where you just have to say okay we lost that fight let's just back out and try it again after. Now if Annie was around to get her combo off with the Malphite ult then that would have worked as well so his other option was really just to delay until she got there but by going so early it meant that by the time Annie did arrive he had nothing to offer to the fight. Okay guys, so that wraps up this episode and I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, please do make sure you send me your clips to the email addresses in the description below and tell me which kind of fight you want to see next time. And you can also come and check me out on my own channel. I do release a lot of different content getting you ready for season 4 to make you a better player and also to make you laugh. That is all for this episode, so I'll catch you in the next video.